Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what is it? Actually, um, Lucario's nearest minus, like minus one or two. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Think about so that. Is that so, no, no, no. See, I don't know all the frames, so I don't know if I, could, if I can trust like, you. Like, no, minus. I trust you. I trust you. Have I ever led you astray? <laughs> that was a great parry, by the way. Vivi's just really good. Oh my god. Vivi's just really good at pairing a lot of dual stuff. That's because they fought so often. So yeah, they've been fighting for years. Years and years and years. And Imagine just fighting the same person for years. You'll, you'll eventually know. Yeah, they, they got another habits. That was really good side B, reflecting ours for back onto Vivi. Uh oh. And that gyro going. Where the gyro going? Hey, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's, it's finally, it finally gone. Mm -hmm. So it finally can be shot back. It's just to keep it active, right? Yeah, but I saw it disappear with the smoke. So yeah. you can also use that to tell like if an item disappears, because a lot of them do smoke. Hey, see, uh, Vivi trying to do a lot of this uh, shield pressure situations with Aura Super. It's not working out as the way he wants it to. Oh my God, Gyro is just stopping him in his tracks. Since I'd be going to take that first talk off of Vivi. Is this the return of Dill? Dill coming back. Dill. Power rank Dill. PR Dill. PR Dill. Can she do it? I believe. I believe. I like. I love that violin right there. Oh, here we go. Might get something going on here. Yeah, this is, this is not looking good for VV, honestly. No, no, boy, no, no, boy, no. I mean, to be fair, Lucar does have his rage uh, whenever it goes back up and up and up, and he yeah, has, no. has to become the character. But right now, uh, she's not letting him play the game. No. She said you're on time out. Said you want to pay twenty dollars, twenty five dollars because it doubles. Twenty five dollars to play today at Saga? You're funny. You're absolutely hilarious. You can, you can play you can play like the double set. <laughs> you can get doubles and get second place. That's all you can get. Here you will die to me. That's what Dill's saying right now. Cause she oh, oh, oh. no to me. <laughs> <laughs> Evie said you're funny. Oh you're funnier because that's how you're gonna take. Oh my god. Another type of kill from Dill. Bunch of yellow walls in chat. We get we get lolo lolo. Sounding like a Pokemon right there. <laughs> <laughs> I like Lickitung. I hate Lickitung. Alright. These guys are just camping each other out. Yeah, I think they're trying to find some kind of opening. Dude, keeping uh, keeping yeah. herself safe with Nair. Yeah, there's a lot of respect for each player mm -hmm. going on. They're both taking the distance. They don't want to get exploited by each other's punish game. Okay, Dylan. Oh, Dylan obvious Dylan was facing uh, Vivi right there, but uh, Vivi, Vivi dash attack right there, but you know. She, she has to really kind of close it out because I, uh, she's she was doing so well the first like part of the of the round, and now uh, Vivi's kind of evening it out. I mean I know she's still at seventy six percent, but Vivi doing Vivi doing a lot better of a job of avoiding a lot of these temptations that Dill's trying to take get on uh, on Vivi. Yeah. Oh God, it's just. Wow, she has not really gotten hit by many of the auras because she either by jumping over, shielding, or reflecting them back onto yeah. Vivi. So she did do jump and then jump air dodge because mm -hmm. it's like probably like oh man, I jumped in this situation, but air dodge it away. Oh great, going around it. Um, but air dodge away like just so you don't get hit. And you see a lot more plays do go. that. Okay, up air taking it right there. Some characters can SDI to get out of it, but Rob really big. Rob oh, is well. huge. Oh. oh. Oh my god, that us smash didn't connect? Ah, scoop hitbox on the outside. Ah. See, I assume it always scoops. No matter what. Nah, that's... I've seen some funny stuff with that us smash. False narrative. Wow. <laughs> See, I hear misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Vivi's doing a pretty good job making sure he doesn't die at 146 uh, and using... Look, like that, that one dash attack, 18%. So I do like the ability to like jump up and just fade back. Yeah. So it's like, I like options like that because you keep your habit, but you slightly change it enough where it can like help you win. And it just frustrates the opponent because it's like, oh, I got you, but you didn't get me. Ooh, just really mad, like wishing right past Dill. But this is a very precarious situation for V because Dill is excellent at any mm -hmm. kind of... uh edge like play on the, on the ledge yeah. or on or off the ledge as well 
Alright, up tilt? This should be pretty much it for Vivi. If, yeah, yeah. that's it. She has laser at her disposal, she has gyro, and Lucar only has limited amount of options for his um, exchange speed back to the stage. This is kind of funny. It's just the two side beat kills and then a gyro kill. And Vivi fi yeah. was finally able to get that weight, that uh, shield pressure into, I believe, oh, you said up air. Yeah, it was the, uh, what was it, aura charge into mm -hmm. up air. Yeah, it's what he was fishing for uh, for early in the socks. And I found, I'm glad he was able to get it. Maybe has his groove back going. All about choosing music. Yeah, call it the roll. It's gonna Jeez. be KK. <laughs> oh, okay, my fault, my fault. I thought we were going to over to TNC. That's what, that's Dill's favorite stage. But Dill won. That's true. Lucario. Dill did win. Yeah, wrong person, counter person. You gotta, you gotta stay focused. Wrong. You're right. Honestly, I thought they were going. I thought they were going over to small, small battlefield. So I was like, "Oh yeah, KK." And I was like, "Wait, PS2, PS2, good stage, good stage for Lucario." Hit him with the sliders. <laughs> Rob is. Rob is big, yeah. I know. It was just aggressive, the jab. Like, oh my god, <laughs> for Vi what? Rob's violent. T100. Rob violent. Terminator 2, favorite, mo better movie. Remember? <laughs> Definitely is. No, Rob, Rob okay. Rob's literally based off Arnold Schwarzenegger. Literally looks like Arnold. No, yeah. Rob is literally the T-800. Yeah, like... So. Model 101. Each game each game just gets better. Just, just plugs into Skynet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm telling you. And the Skynet goes back in time to kill John Connor, yeah. a.k.a. Vivi, oh. a.k.a. Lucario. A.k.a. not Zamba. <laughs> a.k.a. not Zamba. Even though it's not Zamba, Dill's doing an amazing job at, you know, keeping Vivi kind of on his toes, like not letting him get any, any of these aura pressures that he really wants to, or aura charges that he really fishes for on someone's shield and using that to his advantage. But now he's at 141%. Pretty good uh, percentage for Lucario to be an actual player in the game. But Dill, again, Dill played against Vivi so many times, she's likely not letting him get a lot of the stuff. Like, oh! 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 You know what? Come to your skirts. Why she did she go above ledge? She did get hit by aura sphere. Off the ledge. Yeah, why she? Why did she? Why is she still jab blocked? She was laying there for like a ten days. <laughs> or thought she was sleeping beauty or something. <laughs> like wake up with a kiss. <laughs> uh, she was chilling, but that nair. Wow. And then she's just ducking, chilling, like waiting for V to come back. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna wait here. I'm doing my thing. Look at me. Oh, run or grab. Bam. Okay. <laughs> you thought there was more coming? I, I was. I was hoping. You're like, beep up. Beep up. <laughs> Boom, bam. Okay, I like the gyro combo, caught it. Yeah, I'm loving the gyro combos that she's been doing these past few rounds. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that looked like it hurt. It, it did hurt. Guys, it's, it's a scary situation, because you know what, this isn't even, no one's in really a clear disadvantage. It's like literally even. They're both getting equal amount of hitting one another. I know that VV is at one higher percent, but that's kind of Lucardo's like whole shtick. Yeah. Oh my God, she missed that back air. Got punished for it. Yeah. You don't really see a lot of people able to punish it. Okay, I smashed right there. But yeah, you don't see a lot of people able to punish Rob's back air. Really hard move mm -hmm. to punish. And you, it's really hard to get mess up the roll, the tech chase on the flat. Yep. Yeah, it's still jumping there. That was beautiful. Beautiful movement by Vivi right there. Yeah. Dill ha does have a habit of jumping that high, and Vivi does have it scouted. And that's the stock, and even it up. One stock a piece. All right. This is the best of five, right? Yeah, definitely. So we got a whole lot more games to see against uh, these two right now. And wow, Vivi, if you don't keep getting out of these up airs, we're going to have a problem. Vivi. Keep going. I think I think he was too high at that point to continue the ladder, but wow. 40, like 42% off of like four up airs. Oh, here we go, another one. Wave your hands in the air. You just don't care. Say, oh, here we go. Oh my god. Vivi, the up airs. What are both? Gotta get away from them. I mean, that's like one of like, Rob's really uh, devastating attacks at up air. Or Live. down to That moves stale. That moves stale right now. Oh no. Surprise with the gyro, okay.
I love that she's interrupting a lot of his aura charges with uh, Gyro. And that's horrifying, actually. The reflect? Mm hmm. Oh, you're dead? Yeah, that one's horrifying, too. That was smart. She knew that he was going to come over to the ledge anyway, and she caught it with her side B. That's actually really smart. Also, big she's brain. so big brain. She's humongous brained. She's had a lot of really smart plays. I mean, the. The gyro did not trip a lot of Vivi's um, aura charges, which he really kind of relies on for a lot of his uh, finishers, is also a really smart play. Loving the gyro please he's using, especially here on this stock and also the next stock. And also just, you know, she's smart. And she's really adapting to Vivi's yeah. like, recovery options. You know, extreme speed only can really come to the ledge if you're not expecting anyone to, you know, rob side B. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, true. It's like definitely one of the, some of the best options. Mm -hmm made oh yeah oh that was that was evil yeah, it wasn't like real pressure just rolled out of the situation because new vv would like strike there oh and Durgi on what stage ps2 ps2 always on ps2 running it right back oh no oh no what is what was all that Girl, <laughs> just stay there for a little bit, let yeah. yourself get hit by uh, a few times. Oh, I'm loving the like the little the little movement. The little movement. I love movement. It was movement really smooth. It's like the big thing. Uh, like once you reach a certain level, it's like you can't mess up your movement. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, agreed. Or like can't mess it up it up to enough where it should it would be detrimental. He needs some like movement tech. Oh my god. That's something that VB loves to do and he just kind of missed it right there. I think she was able to DI out of it in a very oh. uh, smart way. Oof. That's not it. Sorry. Oh my god. I mean it was a very smart play from her, but also good on VB for actually shooting yeah. for the entire attack from yeah. avoiding think, gyro and avoiding side yeah. B. I think it was too greedy. Yeah. Like, the overextension definitely cost her the stock right there. And now... Oh, yeah, no, agreed. Yeah. You know, she uh, she did get a little bit greedy. And, you know, Vivi had really expect, kind of expect, now expects this ledge uh, guard from Saibi, so he kind of knows how to avoid it a little bit better now since he didn't expect it the last game. Yeah, and now wow. Vivi catching her jump. Vivi catching her jump using her own gyro against her. It might be... And also finally able to charge Oris for the way he wants to. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So this might this might oh. end up going to a game uh, game five if we're able to if be, he's able to continue this momentum. Yeah, and maybe even game four. This would be our first game four. Yeah. If VB does take this. Yeah, but if he continues game four and still doesn't get and he continues his pace, we'll go to game five and it's gonna be really stressful for everyone involved. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not me. What? Oh, you're always chilling. Me, I, I'm always stressed. This is just for always, <laughs> always, constantly. That's crazy. I'm so stressed. I, I look calm. Yo, <laughs> you're like aging faster than all of us due to the stress. Oh my god, can you imagine? Yeah. This is a high level of existence right now, but so is uh, VV. Cause wow, oh you're dead. Yeah. Gotta be dead. Yeah, right there. See now, uh, now Lucaro is back to being a uh, D tier character. No, I'm kidding. You know, no, I'm not actually. Once he has like a like a good red, he's like a really good character. He's playable. <laughs> he's playable. He's he's enjoyable. And he's like things. he's more he's a threat when he's red, but mm -hmm. right, right now, now he's just a guy. He's just a dude. See, not even that killed. That would have killed if he was at eighty. But it would not matter. I'm so really glad that Vivi's able to kind of pull out this uh, this little win. Yeah, she. Uh, I didn't yeah, think she, she saw a up. point. I think she like gave up. Two stocks. Behind. And she's like one forty something. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Why make it go any longer? Uh, to gather information. See, now she knows. Now we should. I think that's why you play play it out. Mm -hmm. Is cause to learn something. Because right now, here... now you give up and you just don't have the information. Yeah, Vivi did do an amazing job at adapting to uh, to the matchup. The first yeah, two games were just data. He was passing data. He has five games to play with. True. Three, actually, but... Directly three. Possibly five. Two games, technically. And then the third game, you, it's, it's your life on the line. Yeah, the third game, you better have your data, like, on lock. Yeah. 
I think of it like three strikes are out. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had two strikes, and now Data has been downloaded. Skynet's active, and he's John Connor about to fight the machines. War against the machines? Woman, yeah, of course. I'm here in 2029, 20, AD. The fact that I know the day is sad. No. Oh no, this is, this is what John Connor should have done in Terminator 2. But he was also 12, so it's okay. I'm like, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, he's like 12. He's 12. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Just punch the T-1000 in the face. Like, wasn't that hard? And die. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, Dale's like panicking a bit. Yeah, the I think she's doing a little bit too many, too much jumps. And yeah. TV's catching all of them. Like, most of them. Even was caught on before, but... She was starting to fade back. Now she's starting to fade back in. Oh, oh. really wanted to... Get the roll read? Yeah. That was a really long distance for a roll, though, in my opinion. Oh, I think so, some characters it. do roll that far. And it does... The ass match does hit slightly behind Rob. Hey, behind? Oh, yeah. no, not Rob. quite dead. Yeah, Rob's pretty good. Rob's big. Rob's heavy. I mean, even though we're saying that Dill kind of isn't you know, uh, getting the lead that she wants. There's still a pretty even game. Oh my yeah. god, but she oh. didn't get the bear, and she's getting... Yeah, roll through. They managed to roll through. Yeah. Still not still not impossible. Getting a really good down tilt to up tilt to up air, you know, little combo going. Should be really enough for her. Or down throw to up smash. Anything like that will really make this game right back to yeah. even for herself. And you see Vivi doing a lot more Lucario Dare. And it, it's just netting Vivi a lot of like mileage, like some setups to like kills or some, as we saw before, or like a setup to like some combo extender. Okay, oh, up throw. Yeah. 48%, nothing. Nothing really. Yeah, no, no nothing. Small, that's like a small combo in mm -hmm. ultimate. Nothing too crazy. 62? Uh, that's like. I have a good bread and butter now. Let's see. I mean, honestly, because Dill can also back up 60% really easy by herself. So I wouldn't say there's too much of a of a really scary situation for both of them right now. I would say for Vivi, if he keeps gaining percentage, I will get a little bit more worried. So because uh, Vivi is, of course, doing really good and doing that shield pressure with Aura's uh, charge and just getting you with Aura's fear uh, like second stage. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, almost a horrible landing. And Dill knows, as, uh, that's how you know the experience, like Dill knows the timing of the counter. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, a lot of people would just grab in that situation, but Dill's like going, able to go for an attack and like counter hit BB. Oh, she's just eating these Warrior Spheres. Yeah. But it's and doing her good. Oh! Stop. Keeping a gyro. Yeah, gyro, gyro good. Gyro's doing really good in, in right now. She's using gyro very smart recently in these, uh, these setups. Yeah. She's also using gyro as like a wall. Yeah. So the wall to take like the aura charge. Right here. Uh, no, her. not quite yet. Again, 70%. Not gonna do too much damage against someone like Rob, who is big and heavy, but that certainly will. Yeah. A little bit too close to the blast zone. Can't really recover from that far. Or that close, at least. Oh, oh no. 29%. But look, look, let's imagine all that just for the 29. It's like four moves. 49% for like four, another four moves. And you see, if you were at 800%, you would do so much more damage. Oh, someone just fell out the answer. That's funny. Oh, caught in there. Comes Gyro. Oh. Goodbye, Gyro. Oh, this, this is a really intense game. This is very big for Dill. She's able to get this. She's able to kind of move on through winners. Get to winners, I believe. Top four? Yeah. I think whoever wins this game basically wins the set. I know this is only game four, but it will have so much momentum going into game five. Oh, that back here was huge. This is huge. This is huge for Dill. Great on V for avoiding the ledge and not getting 
caught by that side B, but this is still really big for Doge. She's able to get this last stock off of Vivi. She's able to kind of move forward through winners and lose when Vivi has to go through losers. Oh, oh great. Hit her. Oh no, is that be it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All that hard work just to get up air. That's funny. And yo, trying so hard to get it, but unfortunately. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I wasn't able to close that game out also. So She was so close. She was she was kinda having a little bit of a time at the very beginning, yeah. but you know, she kept she really brought it back. What, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that, those games, games like this are like real like mental checks. Cause mm -hmm. now you have to play another one. And you were so close to the last one. And it's like, man, how much more do I have to put in? Yeah, it, best of fives are really mentally taxing. Taxing, And this is not even like a slow game or anything. I mean, to be fair, it's like six minutes out almost. But yeah. it's, it doesn't feel like a slow paced game. It feels very high. Momentum. There's a lot of interactions going. Yeah. There's other uh, certain characters where a best of five is an actual physical mental battle. Yeah, what's up, Sinji? Now you see, I don't want to name names. Let's say Pac-Man. Pac-Man is a mental battle. We fit John Numbers is a mental battle. Oh man. That's a battle. That's like you get like debuffed every Steve, single time. Steve you letters. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like literally ten games of numbers is like you get debuffed every single time you do every a set. Every single game. Every single game is a debuff. And it's it's like a mental debuff. God, Dill already gained fifty percent on her zone. Okay. Okay, V oh no, that's oh my god! <laughs> we call that a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hello? Stuck between a rob and a hard place. No, that's yeah, that's good. That's so evil. Do it again. <laughs> now, I, I've never seen that setup. One more time. Do it again, do it again. It was entertaining. It gave me Pokemon Unite flashbacks. That's actually really sad. It gave you what flashback? Pokemon Unite, when Snorlax uses his wall against the other wall, and you're like stuck, and it's like the worst thing in the world, and you keep getting stunned. Yeah. If you know, you know. It's the worst. Game? <laughs> no, oh. not quite. I said game, it's still the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that's a game. <laughs> game. <laughs> it takes all three of your socks at once. Oh, okay. If she's able to time that correctly every single time, or at least most of the time, she'll be able to kind of um, avoid that extreme speed recovery that is able to maneuver around. Oh, wow, but not around that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, it, it did not work out. God, it's... It's scary. It's getting scary out here. It's scary hours. It's scary hours. We have a game... We have a game... We're at a game five. Okay, oh, just clipped. That's scary hours. We're not talking about the event that you guys run every every month on the Wi-Fi. Uh, I think one thing that Vivi is doing really well, and I think it's a result of also picking up Joker recently, is of again his movements have really gotten uh, really polished with Lucario. Yeah. And that's of course Lucario uh, and Joker are pretty fundamental heavy in my in my opinion. And also just have a great movement, uh, like little movement data, yeah. like, not like data, but like uh, movement yeah. text and stuff. Yeah, it's great when you start playing another character. Mm -hmm. It's like you go back to your main, you get some new ideas, the strings, and okay. you also start covering different things. Yeah, I'm seeing it a lot with Vivi in general. I mentioned it with Hero earlier. Some new things he was trying with Hero, and some new things he's trying with Lucario as well. As a result of picking up a new main, which I think is really cool and really is but like really beneficial for someone who does like to like go through a few minutes oh, at a time. Oh, and caught the jump again. She is still jumping in this place, and it is costing her to set. It's not over, though. You know, it's not the it end. Is, it, true. It's not the end, but if she if she keeps getting caught in her jumps, and it's really... Especially it's, it's, on a disadvantage. Yeah, it's true. On a disadvantage, she keeps her jumps keep getting caught, and it's not just like that. It's just not doing well for her. She had her last stock, 0%. BBC is only 66% to his name, so if, if Dill can somehow do another one of those like little gyro wall things, or uh, especially ledge guard um, BB for a while, this might be a this might be it for a winners Dill, like Dill and winners. Okay, no, we're doing good. Oh, oh my god, my. barely missing the side B and getting and actually swimming right behind her. 
Oh, great double parry on, on Vivi's part. Alright, shot to Gyro. Oof. Great Agoraboin, Aura Spear, getting her own punish on that Gyro down. And oh, oh, did not get the spike. Alright. But she got that instead. Yeah, got the kill off the top with the up air. If you can't hit him down, hit him up. Oh, this, this is huge. This is huge. Oh, oh, she dropped it. She was a bit too slow on the second one. A little bit too slow. That, that, that was huge, though. That's still huge. A great percentage on herself right now for 43% on Vivi. If she's able to get something like that going again, this might be it for Vivi in winners. And I was just saying it could have been it for Dill. So the, this is the fact that the matter of the, the game can convert so quickly around. Yeah, just one combo can just devastate you. Now is playing a little bit more of a patient game, right? Doing uh playing more on, on a reaction based uh playstyle rather than being the aggressor. Oh, this oh, might no, oh, not no, quite gonna get it. it again. No, great, great dodge on up for VV. That cause that would have been straight up it for him. Yeah, I know. Oof. Oh, that was Oof. not a well advised air dodge. The laser just barely missed. Wow. Oh no. This could be huge. Yeah. Good on Vivi for using the gyro against her, but it's just not gonna do anything as it's gone off the stage. Oh, she's gained percentage on her. 99%, Vivi 125. One, last stock, last game situation going on right now. Straight up, one hit can any, either player can uh, be sent to losers. Oh god, this, might, this is big, this is huge. Oh, no mask, oh, oh. but yeah, caught the counter hit, and great. that is game. I was going to say, great on Vivi for being patient and not mashing out quite then, because he would have been caught with the first up yeah. air. And then, uh, Mas and then she there. just went right back up. <laughs> wow, my heart is palpitating. Oh my god, is that funny? <laughs> I was stressed out. I was like, it, oh my god. You say your heart's palpitating, but palpitating. I, I, I heard it, like, in like my mind. Yeah, Palpatine. Yeah. And all I see... Is All my, I think is Palpatine the in my heart? Yeah, the <laughs> Sith Lord is like... <laughs> Ew, jo I hate it here. Do you have Ovaltine in your heart? <laughs> no! <laughs> Join the dark Palpatine. side. Palpatine. Ovaltine. Yeah, great okay. catch right there. And Vivi is now in losers. I believe Vivi was our one seed. I could be wrong, but... Uh, this was definitely... I, was I believe this was definitely an upset according to seeding. Yeah. And... We're gonna switch casters pretty soon, or like right now, actually. Yeah, yeah right now. Like Dar's and like looking at me, trying to Dar say, is, threatening me. Dar actually. has four eyes right now. It has like the Gengar eyes on its mask, and then like its eyes, and it's, it's kind of scaring me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here it comes. <laughs> Literally, it has four eyes. It's kind of scary. But either way, while we're gone, switching out to uh, Gengar over here, yeah. and... I don't know who the co-caster is. I don't know who the co-caster is. Oh. Oh, me. it's you? Oh, man, Perfect. I made so it. you're staying. I'm leaving. I've been here for, like, three hours. You all love me, hopefully. Right. You can always follow me on Twitter. Work? Twitter? A month never. Uh. Okay. An extra A, because the other one's taken. Thanks, month never in Germany. And you can always follow a player for... Yeah, the L's and I. But you're literally about... Yeah. <laughs> the L's and I, guys. P-I-R. P-I-R underscore four. So I will see you guys at Xeno Weekly, which you should sign up for. Uh, no, I, I did too fast. Sign up for right now because I believe registration is open for Xeno Weekly next Wednesday. Every Wednesday, venue $8, entry $7, near the BD, BDFJ trains, and it starts at 7 p.m. So I should see you guys there. I'm going to head out. I'll All see right. you guys later. Bye. Yeah.